Hello and welcome today's video, where we delve into the controversial love life of the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. From his marriage to Lisa Marie Presley, daughter of the King of Rock and Roll, to his union with nurse Debbie Rowe, Michael's relationships have always been under scrutiny but what really happened behind closed doors? In this video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the women who captured Michael's heart and the details of their relationships. So sit back, relax and join us as we explore the inside story of Michael Jackson's love affair with Lisa Marie Presley and Debbie Rowe. Fans of the King of Pop were shocked when Michael Jackson announced that he was going to become a father. The revelation was followed by an even more surprising event when he suddenly tied the knot with Debbie Rowe, the nurse who was carrying his child. But what many fans didn't know was that there was more to Debbie's relationship with Michael than just being a surrogate mother. As RadarOnline.com uncovered, Debbie and Michael had a complicated and deeply personal relationship even before Michael ended his marriage to Lisa Marie Presley. Best-selling author J. Randy Terraborelli blew the lid off of their bombshell love triangle in his biography. The year was 1993 and Michael was beginning his battle with drugs. Anxious and unable to sleep, Michael began abusing prescription drugs given to him because of reconstructive work done on his scalp. He was constantly in touch with Debbie, a nurse who worked in the office of his dermatologist. A friend of Debbie remembered, Debbie loved Michael with all her heart, even though he had been married to someone else for a few years. She put him on a pedestal and thought he could do no wrong. In late 1993, Lisa Marie got a telephone call from Michael. His life was over, he told her, he wanted to commit suicide, she was his only friend, help me please, he begged, and then he hung up and apparently called Debbie, telling her the same thing. In June 1995, Jackson denied in an interview with Diane Sawyer that he ever considered suicide. He then called Lisa Marie again. Michael, in a drug-induced moment, then slipped up, according to a well-placed source in the Jackson camp. He was on the phone with Lisa, but he thought he was talking to Debbie, I need you, he said, marry me, and Lisa was astonished. Of course, I'll marry you, she responded, thank you Debbie, Michael allegedly said back, Debbie? Who's Debbie? Lisa asked, causing Michael to hang up, how embarrassing, he asked Lisa Marie to marry him thinking she was Debbie, and Lisa accepted. Michael was in such a fog, I guess he didn't know what he was doing. Shortly after their marriage, Lisa Marie learned that Michael suffered from a form of lupus. Lisa was freaked out, Michael told her a nurse would call and explain it to her later and then the next day, Lisa got a call from Debbie. Lisa wasn't sure what to make of Debbie, she just seemed to be too familiar with Michael's case. When Debbie told her that she'd known Michael for over 10 years, Lisa became more suspicious. My kids don't call me mom because I don't want them to. They're not, they're Michael's children. It's not that they're not my children, but I had them because I wanted him to be a father. I believe that there are people who should be parents, and he's one of them. When asked about their relationship, Debbie told Lisa that she would do anything for Michael. It didn't feel right that this woman was talking so passionately about Michael, the man Lisa was married to, revealed a close friend of Lisa Marie. She later called Debbie back and demanded to know if Debbie was in love with her husband. Debbie reportedly broke down in tears, admitting, I love him with all of my heart and soul, he means the world to me. Apparently unthreatened, Lisa Marie told her to get lost, laughed, and hung up. As she revealed, Michael had wanted Lisa Marie to have his child. She thought about it and in the spring of 1995, Elvis's daughter reportedly told him she didn't want to have his kid. That's when Michael told a friend it's really over between them. According to sources in his camp, Michael began making future plans, and one of those plans involved Debbie and in December, Debbie was pregnant. Lisa Marie didn't know a thing about it, when one of Lisa Marie's friends stumbled upon the news, Michael became mad. He absolutely did not want her to know, he didn't understand the adult emotions he was toying with. But he did know that Lisa Marie would be hurt, and one thing he hated was to see her cry. The thought of it broke his heart, Michael ended up in the hospital due to the stress. Lisa joined Michael in New York where he confessed all to Lisa right there in the hospital room that a friend of his, blonde nurse Debbie Rowe, was pregnant with his child. Lisa was blindsided by his confession. 
Her heart was broken to pieces, not because she was in love with Michael, but because this was all so unfair. Two months later, Debbie had a miscarriage and Michael was devastated. However, she got pregnant again and Michael married Debbie on November 15, 1996, three months after he finalized his divorce from Lisa. Insiders said that Michael called Lisa from Australia in the middle of the night to tell her about the marriage. Michael was sobbing, forgive me Lisa, I've married Debbie, now I can't live with myself, I hurt you so badly, how could I have done that to you? You've always been there for me, but Lisa Marie wasn't having it. I wish you luck, she reportedly told her ex-husband, I really do, but you my friend, are no longer my problem, now you're hers, then she hung up. Despite the end of their romantic relationship, the two remained close friends and continued to support each other in their personal and professional lives. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Lisa Marie spoke about their friendship, saying, I loved him, I still love him, I always will. He was a great person, he was misunderstood, and he was a good friend of mine. Michael also spoke fondly of Lisa Marie, saying that she was a very special person and that he was lucky to have her in his life. It just kind of went really sour really fast. But you filed for divorce from Michael? Yes. And how did you tell him that was it? Um, it was when he was, you know, I was over the phone, I'd had enough. There was a lot of stuff going on then. It got really ugly at the end. It wasn't pretty, but I don't, I don't want to get into it. He, I think he got on to, you know, getting a, somebody else pregnant, right? Or having a baby, <laughs> that's what he wanted. He seemed to get on that pretty quick. Their friendship was not without its challenges, however, as they both faced personal struggles and public scrutiny. Michael and Debbie went on to have two children together, Prince in Paris and Michael's third child BG, whose birth name was Prince Michael Jackson II, was born via surrogate in 2002. That's a wrap for today's video, where we explored the complex love life of Michael Jackson. The relationships he had with Lisa Marie Presley and Debbie Rowe were marked by speculation and controversy, but also by a deep love and affection. Despite the challenges he faced, Michael remained true to his passion and left a lasting legacy as one of the greatest entertainers of all time. His music and his influence continue to inspire and captivate fans around the world. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more.